so today I'm gonna talk about this stand on Toro aerator is a 24 inch inches got a brand new it's almost nine grand I want to talk to you about tensioning the sprocket the chain sprockets for the tines this machine had a problem that after you used it for a while This is the, I removed the cover. This is the tines. This the center one, they turn freely. There is a greaser there. There is another greaser there. Uh, they, it needs very low maintenance. You need to lubricate the chains. Now, you gotta be careful with, uh, once in a while, the tension of the chain, it turns loose. Like this one is fine. You can feel. I can feel it's tight. But this one, I'll show you how to tension the sprockets, because in the in the manual, it's not very easy to understand how to tension it. This is for the uh, what's called hydraulic for the tires. I had to lose this gear, the sprocket, the tensioner. To be able to access to the other chain for the tines see this one is loose super loose let's check under here you see it it's right here this one this is the sprocket that when you raise it it puts tension on the chain this chain right now using one hand but usually I can go higher and when you tight it it should be good to go but this machine it shakes too much that eventually sorry there that's the other one this one is tension really good tension but after shaking for too long of the couple jobs it gets loose so this part starts sliding down and the chain is all loose and it really sucks because it loses power now they made a mistake this is the bolt that I got in hardware ace hardware there you go what you got had like a bug in my glasses I had to get this bolt in Ace Hardware so you guys can see it. Half inch. Half inch or one inch, I don't know. But I'll explain you. It has its own bolt, it's this one. The only problem that I don't like is that I'll show you. It's already loose. It comes right off okay but see this is all the thread it goes in here in there sorry let me get it out let me get it out sorry for making the video longer but you guys will get it very useful see there's a washer and there is the other bolt back here that it holds everything. It's not a big sign, believe me, it's very simple to understand. So, this is the factory bolt, okay? And this is the bolt that I get from Ace Hardware with the lock washer so it won't get loose. This one goes in here, okay? It goes in there, you know the point goes in there it goes in there like that and you're gonna need a wrench one inch wrench and just tight it clockwise okay but as I explain this one goes like this well first of all the one second sorry 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 
so it goes like this this one goes to the frame you see the square it helps so it doesn't turn like crazy otherwise you're just gonna keep spinning and spinning you will never be able to tight it you grab this one and just turn it clockwise like you were tighten a bolt so it's gonna be tight enough but when you put the sprocket this sprocket goes up and down the chain goes above so when you raise it the chains get tight but after shaking for many times it goes down and the chain it's loose all the time so it really sucks that every two or three days you need to tight the chain or you might break it okay now see the thread that they left this thread goes in here so after a while I was doing aeration and he fell off and I found it sitting in the middle of the yard and I said what the heck the machine is still gonna run because it has its own hydraulic chain but the ties won't be that powerful and you don't want to do that you don't want to put all the power of the tines towards the hydraulics because eventually they're gonna break okay so i went to ace hardware i got this bolt sorry i don't i don't know what size it was but you can tell it's longer it's like a one inch and see you're gonna see the difference you go like this and look it's longer and this bolt, I know it's not millimetric, it's standard, okay? It's standard. It goes here and you tie it up. And with the lock nut, it really helps to keep the sprocket tight enough so the chain doesn't get loose every two, three days. You need to remove the tire. It's a lot of work, you know? You don't want to do that. there and to be able to have easy access i like to loose this one and it uh, yeah. you need the socket 19. you go loose and just get it loose like if you're loosing a ball and to tight it just go higher it's tight and tight the bolt I don't have any problem with this one because this is a lock nut but this one it gets loose plus look you need a suck you need a special socket for it a special tip now <laughs> I use it but there is no room when it goes right here you hit the frame so you're not able to put the ratchet or nothing in there See, I'll show you. When you try to put the ratchet, it doesn't fit. Or you tight it and your ratchet gets stuck, or you won't be able to get it in. It's a pain in the, in the nut. So I'm explaining you. The sprocket. This machine had problems with shaking and things get loose. Especially, this is the first problem I had. The socket. The socket. The sprocket up gets tension the time the chain of the ties get tension but after shaking for a while they start to go down 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 until the chain is always loose lock nut a bolt this was pretty much goes like this it's very easy to do it if you know, know some mechanical things you will be able to understand it really nice machine but it needs some maintenance now the manual doesn't say about uh, this machine has some fuses okay last time I was doing aeration and the machine totally died I went to the manual I went online and I couldn't find the fuses I look everywhere 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 and oh this machine doesn't have oil filter so pretty much you only drain the oil from here and you add oil here okay but it doesn't have oil filter so I'll show you where the 
the fuses for this machine because someday it's just gonna die and you will know what to do and the manual doesn't say where are the fuses the fuses are right here so this is the machine you go under okay and give me a second let me put some light uh, well it's right here and right here uh, I'll show you give me a second let me get some light I'm new on this so thank you for understanding just trying to help you because you don't see videos like this you only see videos where there's demos and this and that but one second okay how to how to use a machine and this and blah 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 okay but when it's about to get him fixed and it's brand new there that's the fuse box okay you will have problem with this one day with the fuse it's gonna blow and the machine won't work at all move this away this is for an attachment probably it's for the overseating machine or whatever attachment this is the box you press this button down see and it comes right out right now very simple this is the fuses mine this one died everything died i was not able to see the dash lights i was not able to do anything okay so i will recommend to have spare ones it's 15 and 20. this one i don't think you have any problem to put it back on just put it there slide until it clicks there it's in okay so I might make this video a little long but I just wanted to show you how this works so you don't get the same problem that I did I'm gonna put it on hopefully you can see it right life so you understand how this works hopefully you can see it there here we go So first of all, you get it loose, remove the washer, raise this up, very easy, believe me, it's not that confusing. Follow the hole, there, put the washer, put the washer, and put this one it doesn't matter which it goes like this or like this tight it like you're tightening a bolt okay you're gonna get like one inch wrench and it doesn't spin because that like a square shape so the ball won't spin like crazy you don't want it too tight yet sorry you don't want it too tight because we need to slide it up and down up and down okay now let's do the sprocket see the bolt the lock nut put it like this okay look we have extra thread okay Toro they should have think more about that this machine they shake a lot things get loose and parts are gonna start falling everywhere 
See, I'm tightening it. Tiny, tiny, until you're able to grab it. You're gonna go up now. See the tension of the chain? Look, look. You don't want a super tension. It needs to be like a half inch or a quarter able to move freely. I would do it as tight as I can, not to don't put too much force, but just tight enough because eventually the chain is gonna get loose by itself, believe me. It doesn't stay super tight. So keep it high. Okay. We're gonna start tightening. Don't worry about this bolt yet. We're gonna do it later. I'm trying to finish this one first. It's very tight. It needs to be very tight, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna get loose. That happened to me. I've been done in this like five times until I finally figured out what was the problem. tight there okay very tight there now we're gonna I use three quarters three quarter wrench and now we're gonna tight it up Tighten it up. Yeah. There. Tighten it up. Don't get it loose. I mean, don't keep it loose because it's gonna fall for sure. I'm looking for my pipe. Ah, I don't see it. Oh, I see it. It's me. So I use a little pipe to tight the wrench. Okay. Perfect. Sorry, I hit it with the hammer, but it size fine. Yeah, right, let's keep going. There you go. Should be good because it has a lock nut. See? The chain goes like a quarter, so it's totally fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Let me do it a little bit more because again, I'm telling you, this is the fifth time I'm doing it and it gets loose all the time. But with this new bolt and lug nut, it should work perfectly. There. Perfect. Let's tie this one up. See, this is the old one. You don't want to use a piece of junk. We need the uh, 7, 19. Sorry. 19. I'll try to do it with one hand just for you guys. <sighs> Give me a second. Well, hopefully you can see it. There's no sign of it. It's very simple. There. Look. Good tension, it's fine. And I'm just gonna tighten it up. <clears throat> there. I have never had any problems with this one. It always stays tight, see? Look. That's perfect. This one, look. It's tight. Let's see. It's loose. It's going quarter. Eventually, it's gonna get loose. So now, just put the tire. Let it sit for a, for a while because it looks like the oil's kind of 
might be a little goofy let it sit start it everything should start perfectly so i teach you how to fix the sprocket tensioner gear for the stand on aerator toro x mark 24 30 inches we found where the fuse is and hopefully that works for you i haven't found any other problem that was the only problem that i have found fuses location and you're gonna have for sure problems with the um, tying chain sprocket and tensioning okay thank you thank you for watching my video and hopefully this can work for you guys